Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Yo, man, Respawn has been hyping season four up. Uh, we won't, we, they haven't stopped uh, dropping the little teasers and everything. The hype is real, and we're about to cover it. Revenant has been busy, okay? So there's quite a few news reports coming out just focused kind of on Revenant, but obviously not directly relating to Revenant. The first thing that we got, obviously, was a break-in, uh, a while, and then we had a, you know, of course, what happened with Forge, whether or not you believe he is dead, check out my video on that, and then also, there was another break-in, actually, it's been, there's been five break-ins over the last month in Hammond Robotic Facilities, and <laughs> right now, there is a... Uh, you know, nothing nothing to go on about that. They, you know, Hammond, Synd the Syndicate and both Hammond Robotics have refused to comment on it. And then there was a nice little internal memo posted. And it basically says that, you know, they, that Hammond Robotics believes in complete transparency. And they want you to know... Everything is okay. So, just so you know about the break-in that happened, the it, the break-in occurred just outside of the world World's Edge Arena, and three security guards were killed when they sent a reconnaissance team. Turned out, human resources had been breached, and then that their the files that had been downloaded contained the address addresses. Of nearly 300 employees. And then, and then it goes on to say, don't worry, there's no threat to Hammond employees at this time. So, yeah. I don't, you know, <laughs> if you don't know about Hammond Robotics, just from this memo, you can tell that this is, uh, this is a pretty, uh, this is pretty shady. You know, <laughs> like, Hammond Robotics, obviously the bad guy in this situation, or at least what it's looking like. I mean, I've been reading a lot of uh, alien books, right, you know, here recently, and they just remind me of Waylon Utani so much. Um, but, yeah, you know, they're saying that, you know, all oh, because of that, you know, don't worry, we're going to double our security, and we'll, we'll be good to go. And they also mentioned something called the harvest, which might be what Revenant is trying to stop, or Revenant might have a personal vendetta. After that, the next day, three employees never showed up now they don't know what happened but at all th obviously they were kidnapped like the the way that it's worded is is really weird because it says like all oh, three employees failed to show up to work today but little student little is known like w where they're at but there was a data file located at each of the three scenes of where these people were apparently kidnapped uh, and with the the data file, if you take a look at it, which you can kind of, you know, it's definitely scrambled, but you can definitely make out a hand, which appears to be robotic, uh, turning into, you know, just kind of transforming and wrapping over. I'm sure if we were to go piece by piece with this, we might be able to find something. But the more I watch it, man, it's a little bit harder to, you know, really see what's going on. I myself can't really make out a whole lot about it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, yeah? Tell me what you think it is, and we can uh, we can expand on that. Then, after that, there was a security footage released from the break-in that shows the first look at the possible suspect, which, as you can see, if you watch the... The feed, you just see him, you know, revving it, running across the screen. So, if you have any information, please let the syndicate know. And, of course, Respawn is not finished hyping up all of this, which I think is amazing because, you know, it's like they're getting, they're getting more and more into it, and I love that because the, you know, Season Zero, there was like, there were a few videos, but whenever in the first season, whenever Octane was dropped, you know, he didn't get a whole lot. When season two came out, Watson didn't really get a whole lot. And then Crypto got a little bit. And then now, <laughs> a 
Forge, or Revenant in this case, is getting tons. Like, Season 4 in general, for the new legend that's going to be in Season 4, is getting tons of hype as far as what's about to happen. Because there's going to be another little um, news report coming in tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's going to be linking the break-ins at Hammond Robotics and the murder of James McCormick. Also with the 25-year-old unsolved cold case. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more backstory on Revenant because that would just be super awesome. So if you're excited about that, stop by tomorrow because we are definitely going to have a video on that. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when that video drops. This is pretty dope. Like th this whole thing, I'm super like amped about it. And I don't even think I'll, you know, I don't even know if I'll play Revenant. I'm ready. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. And if you could, man, hey, like always, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe already. So that way you can stay up to date with all this information. As soon as I can get a video out, you definitely know the video is going to be out. As always, thank you so much for watching.